What's up guys? I'm here to show you tips, tricks, and features on the 2018 Traverse. This works on a bunch of Traverses. All right, let's start out with this one, number one. A lot of you already know this, but the Traverse has this awesome secret compartment and you just push this button and boom, you got a sweet little hidden storage. It keeps stuff out of sight so people can't just window shop. Sweet Chevy Traverse feature. Um, when you remote unlock and then you lock the doors, the second lock, it chirps the horn. And there's a reason it does that. Say one of your kids jumps out and they do one of these little half shuts. Okay, your doors look shut, right? And you're walking away from the car, you double lock and there's no horn chirp. This is a warning that one of your doors is still open and you need to turn around and go shut it. So let's make sure it's shut and double lock and a horn chirp. Sweet. All right guys, here's another sweet tip. Uh, if your battery for whatever reason dies and your car is a fully auto remote unlock and lock, you're, not a lot of people know this, but there is a key inside the fob and you pull it out and that can manually unlock the driver's door only and then you can pop your hood to get access to your battery. As you can see, it has a message, Hill Start Assist Active. My foot is off, drive, we're on a slight hill and it holds it steady, pretty sweet. This is how you adjust it. You'll wanna go into settings, vehicle, um, comfort and convenience and extended hill start assist click on that it has two settings the standard ones is not as strong it doesn't let you, it doesn't let you change it while it's active so you can switch back and forth from extended and standard extended is a little stronger it'll lurch your forward up the hill a little bit it'll lurch you forward up the hill a little bit standard it'll just hold steady All right, here's another awesome feature of the Traverse. You're gonna to wanna to go into settings. Anybody that has teenagers, just starting out driving, you're super unsure, nervous, let them use your car. It's called teen driver mode. You're gonna to wanna, to, whatever key that the teenager's gonna be using, you wanna go in, continue. You get to set a pin. You set a pin, and then when you enter that pin, it's gonna go in and you'll be able to get a report card after they drive. There's a bunch of other settings that you can set, like speed control. Um, here's all the settings. You can set uh, audio volume limit, teen driver speed limit, and teen driver speed warning. Um, after they drive it, boom, you can come in, see the report card, gives you everything. There's maximum speed, over speed warnings, how many times they did an ABS stop. It's awesome guys, check that out. So once again, yeah, you're gonna wanna go into settings. It's the top, it's one of the, it's in the list of the main settings, teen driver, put your pin in, boom, and there you go. Gives you every, all the control you need for teen driver. All right, here's another awesome little feature. Gonna go into vehicle, remote lock and unlock, and remote start auto heat seats. This is awesome on a really cold morning. If you remote start the car, it will turn on both driver and passenger heated seats. So when you get in, they're nice and toasty. All right, you're gonna wanna check this one out. These are some hidden info pages that you might not have. So you're gonna wanna go left button, on this main screen, you're gonna wanna go down to options. And then on this screen where it says info pages, click the right over button and edit list. Now, if any of these that you don't have are not checked, you're gonna wanna check them because it gives you all this vehicle information. 
and I've seen when they come from the factory that some of these are turned off and you may not be able to see your tire pressure, your, you know, there's a timer, battery voltage, um, it even has trans fluid temp. It's really good to have all these checked to keep check marks so you can keep an eye on all these settings. It has the oil life. Um, anyways, if any of these are not checked, they will not show up when you're defaulted on your info. So now you scroll through, you see I have all these trip, all the trips, fuel, oil life, tire pressures, fuel economy. All right, there you go. Hidden info pages. I've seen them not turned on from the factory. So check that out. Let me know if you're missing any down in the comments. Um, that's it for those hidden info pages. All right, guys, here's another sweet tip.